Good evening, class eleven. Today's video is all about uh, the poem, the Libanum Top Hornbell, and uh, the poet of this poem is Ted Hughes. So over to the poem. We are told that uh, um, the top of the Libanum tree is silent and quiet. For your information, I would like to tell you that Laburnum is a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous seeds. This is all given in the text also. Hornbill, it's given for you. So the Laburnum top is silent, quiet and still. The poem is all about a tree. The poet uh, takes us close to nature through the medium of this uh, poem. And uh, the tree is quiet and silent and it is the time of afternoon. Autumn season prevails and the month is September, we are told. During that time, a few leaves of the laburnum, they are turning yellow as autumn prevails. Autumn is a season where, you know, trees shed their old leaves and spring is about to approach so it's, its leaves are yellowing and uh, all uh, falling along with the seeds the poet here is about to lay emphasis on the fact that how a tree laburnum it is quiet and silent and still lifeless in other words Till the time, a small little bird, goldfinch, we are told a small singing bird with yellow feathers on its wings is goldfinch. This small bird arrives and perches on the tree. Till that time, the tree is all lifeless, silent and quiet. And the moment the bird arrives, the tree is full of life. How? We would be reading. So till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, the moment the bird arrives, it is making soft sounds, it's chirruping. A suddenness, a stalment, suddenly, you know, life returns back to the tree as it sits on one of the end, ends of a branch. Goldfinch is compared, the figure of speech simile is used over here, in its movement with lizard. It's as smooth as a lizard is smooth on wall. And it's alert and sudden. As the bird arrives and perches on the tree, it's sitting on one of the branches. It is alert and sudden. And as smooth as a lizard is smooth on a wall. Then slowly she enters. Slowly she enters the tree. And inside the thick tree, there is a nest where its family is keenly waiting for it. The family, of course, has little birds, small birds. And as she arrives, as she enters the thick tree, as if a machine starts up, as if a machine of sounds start up, because the tree which was lifeless, quiet and still, a few minutes back, it starts bursting with life. As the young birds, the little birds, they recognize, they identify the bird, goldfinch, an important member of its family. And the little birds, after recognizing goldfinch, they start making all sort of beautiful, soft sounds and noises of chittering, soft sounds, and they start flapping their wings out of excitement and trillings. And softly, they take out soft sounds of recognition for the bird goldfinch. The whole tree trembles and thrills. The whole tree starts moving, trembling, shaking, and thrills is full of happiness. It is the engine of the family. Goldfinch plays a most important role in the family. 
it is one of the most important members of the family as if any machine cannot start up it would be lifeless without the engine similarly the family of goldfinch is lacking life it's lacking happiness without the bird goldfinch the little birds they identify her and their family is only complete after it arrives we are told she stokes it full her arrival completes her family then flirts out quickly you know after spending some times with the little birds they are happy they are taking out soft sounds of recognition excitement happiness joy the tree the tree you know which was lifeless a few minutes back it's full of life what does the bird do it spends some time with the little birds and then quickly we are told then flirts out to a branch and it perches sits on the branch and comes out of the thick tree showing her bard face identity mask we are told before she comes out she shows her face to the little birds bard face mask is generally worn by us to conceal to hide our identity but in the case of the bird goldfinch her colorful face resembles you know it seems to the poet that it's like a mask but this is not a colorful mask to hide its identity rather the little birds identify her with that colorful face which looks like a beautiful mask to the poet because of the beautiful colors nature has given it so it is not a mask which has been a uh, uh, sort of uh, used or as it is given over here by the poet to tell us that goldfinch is it's hiding its identity no it's colorful face rather it is a sign of recognition the goldfinch family recognize her with that colorful face then with every delicate whistle giraffe whisperings she launches away towards the infinite so after coming out of the thick tree she again makes delicate soft sounds and after that she launches she soars high she flies high towards the infinite sky and the laburnum subsides to empty we are told that the laburnum which was previously you know it was lifeless before its arrival and when the little bird after spending some time with the family when it goes back when it flies back towards the sky the tree again subsides to empty and is lifeless still and quiet so it's a beautiful small poem by ted hughes and i don't think that you would be facing any problem in it so read it carefully and you will understand that it is just giving us a vivid, uh, vivid description of nature and uh, we are told that how uh, this tree laburnum tree how it looks beautiful but with its yellow flowers but it seems to the poet that it is incomplete before the arrival of the bird goldfinch and her arrival completes it because its family is her family is keenly waiting for her so that's all for the laburnum talk bye bye